It's Monday the 22nd of May 2023 and I'm at Tring Station to do a circular walk. Outside the station we turn left along the road down to the Grand Union Canal. I'm now on the steps leading down to the Grand Union Canal towpath. Now heading along a very leafy Grand Union Canal. Continuing along the Grand Union Canal, still nice and leafy. At this bridge, we're going to leave the canal. We're now turning right onto this paved track. Later, the path becomes more gravelly. ahead now. We're now on a concrete track. It's the same track, it's turned concrete. We're coming to a road. Right, coming to the road. We have to turn right along it for about 200 yards, just under 200 yards. We're now going to turn left along this bridleway. Or fork left, I should say. It's not a sharp turn, but we're heading away from the road, thank goodness. At this junction, we keep ahead. And we're starting to ascend. Nice view opening up over to the right. There's the path ahead. We come to a junction with the Ridgeway long distance path and we turn left along it. We're now entering the Aubrey Noah's Nature Reserve and Here's a battered information board about it, or very weathered. Now ascending through the nature reserve on the ridgeway. We now climb the steps on the ridgeway. More of those excellent views now on the left. There's the chalky ridgeway and the line of our walk. The path strides on majestically. Continuing now through a sort of hollow way. We come to this gate where we leave Hertfordshire and into Buckinghamshire and continue along the ridgeway for a while. We're now on the ridge of Pitstone Hill with tremendous views over to the left. Now heading along a grassy ridge of Pitstone Hill. to slowly descend and we're looking ahead to Ivinghoe Beacon. We're not going there today though. We've now come to a small road and turn left along it for a short distance. Turn right off the road to 
continue along the ridgeway. At this point the ridgeway continues ahead, but we bear to the right. continue along this track here. So we're now leaving the ridgeway. We're now steadily ascending and it's pretty steep. We've now joined the Ashridge Estate Boundary Trail and are going up there. We now rise to this track and turn to the right and that's still going uphill. We've been going uphill for a long way now but at least it's fairly gentle. At a gate there are these amazing views. This is over on the right hand side as I'm walking. The wooded path continues. Now we have a decent woodland view here. Now at the Bridgewater Monument, built in 1832 to commemorate the third Duke of Bridgewater who built the Bridgewater Canal in 1761. There's a view looking back to the Bridgewater Monument in all its glory. The weather is improving. We've now joined the Hertfordshire Way and we are descending to Albury Village. At this fork we take the right hand path down there. Now rapidly descending to Aldbury village on this good path. Now in picturesque Aldbury village there's the pond. And there's a view of Aldbury Church. We turn off the road through this gate. Looking back there's a view of Aldbury Church Tower. And now there's a really glorious view back to Aldbury Church. The walk now heads up this narrow path. At this junction, we turn left, and by the way, the route from Aldbury Village is still part of the Hertfordshire Way, so this is Hertfordshire Way. The path continues with a good view ahead. Over to the left now, wide sweeping views and we're almost at the end of the walk. We're approaching Tring Station again and there's the path continuing. We've now rejoined the Ridgeway and are heading down to the road just before Tring Station. Now at the road, the station's about just over 300 yards away. Now back at Tring Station, and that's the end of today's circular walk. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.